Hello again, this is Carl from JCM Technology Solutions with another episode of our how-to video series. Today's episode covers backups. First, how to make a one-time backup and then how to create a regular backup of your system. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to log into your PBX. So I am at the main screen. Once you're logged in, you will click maintenance. Try that again, maintenance, backup, and you will see the backup screen. So you have two buttons. First, we're going to do create a new backup. This is a one-time backup. So you will make this backup, I think, any time that you're going to make a change to your system or something like that. So go ahead and click new backup. And then I like to choose everything when I make a one-time backup. You have the option to make a local backup, which is on the PBX itself, or an SD card. I'll choose the SD card and just take note of the name. So we're going to make the backup here. So it says it's processing a backup. So like I was saying earlier, I like to make a backup anytime before I make a big change. Uh, if I'm going to update the firmware, I make a backup, uh, anything like that. Or if you want to make a one-time backup to take off site with you. Uh, these things are pretty resilient when it comes to recovering the backups. Um, you can go ahead and, and have this, put it on a thumb drive or put it on a computer, take it, to, take it home, take it to another location, put it in safety deposit box, anything you like to do like that, just to keep that backup uh, off-site. Because when, when it's off-site and, and something does happen, you can recover it pretty easy. So now that we've got that succeeded, okay. So now we have our backup here, and you can click the download. So download. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Safari is going to download that for us. And that is complete. So that creates a one-time backup uh, for your system. Like I said, uh, to take off site or to, uh, to do before you make a big change or just, just cause. Backups are always good. Can't have too many. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this backup. Um, that way it's off here. And now I'm going to talk about a regular backup file. So a regular backup file is something that you can schedule. So first thing you need to do, click that. Enable the regular backup file. Uh, when it comes to regular backup, I like to enable everything except the zero config storage. So uh, I click all and then I just do that. And what that does is it backs up the config, the CDR, everything really that's necessary except the zero config storage because the way that we set them up is we create firmware in there and usually not, not a great thing so have two options we can do the local SD card if you have a USB stick in there you can uh, save to that too or an SFTP server so this is something that your IT person or your or maybe even you could set up where you could automatically sync these off-site so backup time I'm going to choose 10 o'clock as you can see it's uh, 0 to 23 0 being midnight 23 being 11 p.m. Uh, and then regular back backup file interval uh, 1 to 30 in days. I like to make a backup about every week, so I'm going to choose 7. So what I'm going to do now is click Save, and then it, say, it says the data is saved successfully. Click Apply Changes. The system's going to reload, and there you go. So when this comes back, this, uh, this IP PBX will create a regular backup at 10 o'clock every seven days. So really good if you're just making changes or something happens like that, especially if you're saving it to an SD card or a USB stick. Uh, if anything does go wrong with the PBX, uh, who knows, power surge or anything like that, you can pop that out, put it in a new PBX and be back up and running in just a few minutes. So again, uh, thanks for watching our video series and stay tuned and you will see something new. All right. Thank you again.